So what we have here is a Parallax basic stamp. Uh, it is a microcontroller. This is the little chip right there. It's powered by a 9 volt battery. Uh, it has a tiny little miniature breadboard on here for prototyping circuits. You can also use it to uh, these black pins over here. These black slots are for uh, the pins to access the uh, I.O. on the processor. There are 16 of them that are accessible. And then also there's power and ground up here. This is a serial connector, RS-232 or DB9. I have a serial to USB converter over here, so I can plug it into my MacBook. Over here, this is uh, the basic stamp editor software. You can load your program into here. It actually comes with lots of example code, which is way cool. Because uh, my biggest complaint about, about uh, this kind of stuff in general is that oftentimes it's not very accessible. Like there's a, uh, it's not easy to just jump in and start doing something. You know, you get something out of the box, and half the time, you know, okay, now what? You know, but uh, having example code or example applications, major plus. So I have to say, Parallax Basic Stamp, uh, it's way cool. So uh, this this code here, this actually, what I have loaded in here right now is a little program to play Nokia ringtones. So if I press the reset button, it'll rerun the program. Now what it's doing is it's uh, it's playing this through this little uh, piezoelectric uh, speaker here, which I have wired up to pin number nine. And uh, that's just one example of something you can do with this thing. I'm trying to use it to uh, to do some tone synthesis for the Halo Harp, or that was the original intention. But uh, you know, as you can hear, the uh, the synthesis capabilities are are kind of limited, uh, so I don't want to get my hopes up too much there. Uh, at the very least, I'm going to try to use it for automatic gain control on the Halo Harp, uh, because uh, that has been a a problem in the past, having to set all those little potentiometers for uh, the light level, whatever the light level is in the room. You got to reset it every time, and I don't want to have to do that. So if the computer can do that for me, you know, cool.